you. Come here. Hey guys, so this is part two of the Supermoon Energies. Today's the last day to finish up your ceremony. As you can see, I've been having the candle burning all night long. And it's burning really, really good. This lets me know that whatever your wishes were, whatever you prayed for, whatever you asked for is going to come to fruition. Now, I have two more jugs out here to absorb the full moon energy. Uh, yesterday, I only left them out for four hours because... Uh, I didn't want my dogs getting a hold of my gemstones, but because I had my my gemstones around it last night, my spiritual committee around it, they were already absorbing the energy, and they were already blessing the energy of the um, of the water. So um, again, if you want to do more water, if you only got one what 20 ounce bottle last night, and you kind of felt the energy was really good, you can also Leave two more out tonight because the moon, as you can see, is still big and bright and it's going to be absorbing or installing the energy into the jugs tonight as well. And you can actually use this water if you feel like you just need to be spiritually cleansed, you know, if you feel like uh, you just, you know, if you're, you're, if you're doing weight loss or releasing stuff you can continue to drink this water or if you feel like you need to use the moon blessed water for your your gemstones or your healing tools what or whatever so last night remember we got our little petition and we wrote exactly what we wanted so now it's time today to release it out into the universe so i am actually going to light my divine blessings incense tonight before we begin the ceremony. So let me get that opened up and ready. Oh crap, I don't have any more. I think I used it all up. It's all right, because you know what? I have uh, sweet grass here, and I think that's why Spirit told me to bring out the sweet grass, because sweet grass brings in good luck, good energy, and it's also gonna be good for the ceremony for tonight as well. So let me get this lit up. So we're going to bless our items today. I would have my son out here, but he went inside. So I'm going to bless my petition with the smoke from the um, sweet grass. And like I said, sweet grass is uh, another Native American herb that brings in divine blessings, brings in prosperity and abundance and good health and good luck. So we are going to light our petition now. I'm lighting the petition now. We're burning it up, sending it out to the universe for blessings. And the sweet grass smells really, really sweet. It smells really good. So if you didn't get a chance last night to, um, to do your blessing yesterday, now's the time. It's okay, the candle's still here to absorb the energies. So we're burning the petition tonight so that we can bring in what we released yesterday. So pretty much we're releasing the, the, the prayers, we're releasing what we requested from God and the angels. We're releasing the petitions of good health and prosperity, abundance, releasing emotional and tra emotional pain and trauma. So today is the second part of the super moon or full moon ceremony. So we're burning this petition up because we want to release it out into the universe. So go ahead and infuse, infuse your request if you didn't get a chance to do it yesterday, or even if you looked at the broadcast late that's okay because the energy still went in the candle but you have another opportunity to request your petition and again as I said right now the super moon and the the moon is still full today is going to be the last day you can actually do three days before the moon the full moon becomes full to request what you're wanting Okay.
and you can leave your water out and drink it for healing, uh, drink it for prosperity, that's what you're trying to bring in. Uh, this is also going to help heal your body. So I've been drinking my water from last night and of course as I said before I added cucumbers, I added lemons and mint herb inside of my water for a detox to purify all toxins out of my body. So these here are going to help me carry, carry me through for the next couple of days during my spiritual process. And I'm also going to use these to cleanse my tools. Okay. As I said, the moon is still full. So the moon goddess or the energies from the moon are still blessing our tools tonight. So make sure you get out there as soon as possible to burn your petition, your request. And as I said before, as the full moon starts to decrease, it's going to be sending out everything, cleansing everything. It's absorbing all the stuff that you want and sending it out. And then we'll do a new moon ceremony later on. And this is to bring in new beginnings. And actually, it's going to help manifest the things that you want as well. So again, you can always purchase the Divine Blessings incense. I've been using the heck out of them, so obviously I don't have any more, but I'm so glad that Spirit told me to bring out my sweet grass because it still brings in good luck. It's also used for ceremonial purposes by the Native Americans, and this brings in good luck, prosperity, abundance, and good health. And that's what we're wanting. We're wanting to release the bad to bring in the good. Okay, so I'd like uh, to thank everybody for tuning in. So um, before we close out for the day, go ahead and infuse your petitions in the candle. I don't turn my candles off. It's not good to turn them off. You just let them burn all the way because you got to see exactly how the candle is going to burn. And because it's clear, the glass is clear, this means that that there is no negativity around there is no no blockages this is going to be a good burn that means that the chances of us receiving what we asked for from the creator is going to come about so i'm sending healing energy to the candle just some more just to infuse it some more with some reiki positive energy see i have my herbs in there Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for helping us to release all that does not serve us. Helping us to pave the way to prosperity and abundance by releasing all obstacles, all negative vibrational energies, preventing us from fully moving towards the path that you have chosen for us. And I ask that with the moonlight energies and the angels of the angels, the energy of the angels, the energy of fire, and the elements of fire and this candle that we in the elements of air with the incense that we bring in and release what needs to be released and bring in the good thank you so much for assisting us at this moment amen and amen okay guys talk to y'all soon make sure y'all tune in tomorrow uh, at 10 a.m for the ask your angels tv show 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. You can find the link on my website. And um, I will be teaching about how to open up your third eye and pay attention to your intuition. Because we all have intuition. Every last one of us have that inner guidance from spirit. And sometimes we don't listen to it. But I'm going to teach you guys how to open up and really fully receive guidance from spirit and the angels and from God himself. So thank you so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you soon.